In this proof of concept video, a rather simple but yet effective attack against many radio based systems is demonstrated, namely, a reactive jamming attack. The idea of radio jamming attacks in general is to exploit the used shared medium of wireless transmissions, the electromagnetic spectrum. In order to disrupt a targeted radio transmission using a specific wavelength, an attacker simply transmits his own radio signal interfering with the original one. This results in the intended receiver of the radio transmission not being able to correctly receive the original signal anymore. Reactive jamming means that an attacker reacts to specific wireless transmissions and only tries to disrupt those. The shown example illustrates how a stronger attacker-controlled radio signal partly disrupts several signals of the targeted device. A stronger jamming signal overlays the original one. For demonstrating a reactive jamming attack, the security vulnerability SYS 2019-004, which was publicly disclosed in July last year, is exploited in this video. In the following demo attack, a Great Fed 1 by Great Scott Gadgets, together with its neighbor Erika, created by Thomas Detert, is used. Erika provides four Texas Instruments CC1101 transceivers tuned for different frequency bands. Two transceivers per frequency band allow for short reaction times required in specific test cases, for instance concerning reactive jamming attacks. Here you can see the used test setup with an Abu Sequest wireless alarm system, a wireless motion detector and the Great Fed 1 with the Erika neighbor connected to the attacker system. First, let's activate the wireless alarm system and see if an alarm is triggered via the motion detector. As you can hear, the test setup works fine. We reset the wireless alarm system and activate it again. Now we start the reactive jamming attack using our developed software tool Reactive Jammer. While the reactive jammer is running, it detects wireless transmissions of all components of the Abus Sequest wireless alarm system, for instance the wireless motion detector, and overlays it with another stronger signal. Thus, the receiver, in this case the alarm panel, is not able to properly decode the original transmitted message and no alarm is triggered. Furthermore, our reactive jamming attack did not trigger the jamming protection of the Arbus Sequest wireless alarm system. 